Yeah, I'm going to show you how to uh, test your injectors if you think one of them is not firing. Um, I'm going to go through this. I've already done mine. I bought some used injectors. I want to make sure they were styled for TC. I want to make sure that they uh, they were all good. The guy ran E85 through them. And sometimes that E85 sits inside of meets them up. Um, I just had a buddy of mine. He had the same problem, left his set for a couple of months with E85 and the injectors, and it they wouldn't work. Um, but here's a simple way to figure out. Now, you got to build one of these. And what all this is, is I'm trying to... All this is, is right here, this is just a, a covering for a uh, bleeder on a brake caliper. And all I did was poke a little hole in there and it'd make it tight enough to where this little spray tube that comes with your brake cleaner or your uh, um, whatever it is carburetor cleaner I, I recommend you using carburetor cleaner I used brake cleaner and you have to be careful which kind you use they're making unflammable brake cleaner now and it's junk don't ever run that through your injectors or through your carburetor I've, I've run this through my carburetor and injectors plenty of times and it's fine but you have to be careful what kind you run through but i recommend you get a carburetor cleaner to run through these but all you have to do is make this and it's a little straw that comes with it you plug that into your into this and this goes on the back of your injector it fits tight um, it will leak a little bit around the tube but it'll be fine one thing you have to i'm not recommending you to do this home i'm just showing you a quick show so i'm not responsible for anything this is flammable so you have to be careful this is a pigtail for a injector and it's wired up to two wires i've got thing here make sure no wires touch and all i'm using a 3.7 volt that's what i'm using you could probably use a a, a 1.5 volt uh triple triple a double a they probably all work your uh, injectors you don't necessarily have to have a 9 volt this 3.7 volt works but anyway what happens is i'll get one of my injectors out of here what happens is is you clip that onto that okay you clip that onto that and it's wired so you're hooked onto this now have a buddy it's easier if you have a buddy i don't have nobody out here um have a buddy stand back away from where you're at don't do it right up on the thing in case there's a little spark or something stand back and as he touches that other side of that uh, connector which would be this one make sure you know which one's negative and which one's positive you don't want to be trying to fire it backwards and then as you got this thing here onto your injector which would look something like this and it would be on the back of the ejector it'd be on here and as somebody pushes down on that just slightly you don't have to hammer on it and as your buddy touches the wire on here you'll see a steady spray of uh, fluid coming through it and that would that would let you know that if it's trick on or anything like that and another way is if you you can hear us click inside it'll actually click every time you touch that wire you don't want to overpower these use a low voltage low as you can to make it work i'm using a 3.7 volt um, but it will spray and it'll spray a nice clean mist out of it and it won't it won't like drip or anything like that it'll just spray you can see the well it used to be there big old puddle it, it sprays out a lot depending what size injector you got but it's it's a simple simple fix to figure out so you don't have to send your injectors off you know you can find out at home um, if you're not mechanically inclined or know anything about electric or flammable material i don't recommend you doing this um if I get some help or whatever i'm going to try to build me a little setup to actually you can just push a button and it you know you can hook up some pressure to it and it'll uh It'll test your injectors. That way you can have them sent, you know, you can have them cleaned or whatever if they're used, sent off and cleaned and checked. But this is the easy way. I'm just throwing some 1,000 cc injectors in and, and try to get my car up and running. So I hope this, this helps. Um, 
very easy you just have to be careful around flammable material these wires here one of them's positive one of them negative make sure you wrap all the po positive wire this is the negative right here um it's easier if you just have a button that you can push instead of touching the wires but if you're you know you're just wanting to check a few injectors this is the quickest way to do it and i recommend you using carburetor cleaner it works very well um as far as I know, this thing don't blow the straw off. Now, what it will do is it leaks right around where that straw goes down in there. Now, you could probably take some RTV or something and put it around in there, and it probably wouldn't wouldn't come up out of there. It's probably what I'll end up doing. It leaks right around the top right where that hose goes through this. Now, all this is is a uh, brake bleeder uh, cap. It's rubber. It's just rubber. You can And it actually squeezes right over top of top of that injector so that'll just let you know it's a simple cheap a lot of people's probably got this stuff laying around the house so hope you like the video like and subscribe